социальный рух or social movement it is NGO from uh, Ukraine which was founded in 2015 and uh, it uh, claims to be a socialist progressive and democratic organization uh, which uh, fights for better Uh, labor rights for uh, ecological uh, justice for socialism and uh, against any forms of uh, discrimination like uh, sexism homophobia and so on so we are organization which uh, struggles for equality in uh, social uh, economical and uh, political uh, way And the Ukraine, it is a country which is ruled by oligarchs. Our authority belong to the most richest people who are making money on uh, exports like uh, agriculture exports, uh, iron ore exports, uh, and so on. Our economy is uh, in a systematic crisis. Uh, but it gives high profits for a small part of our society and the, the salaries in Ukraine are the lowest than in any other European country. So you, you should understand that uh, Ukraine, it is a country which is full of uh, social tensions between rich and uh, poor uh, people. Also, uh, we have uh, problems with human rights uh, because uh, uh, we observe the wave of uh, far-right uh, violence uh, on the streets and all of uh, these uh, problems, uh, they should be addressed, addressed by the civil society, by the trade unions, by the social activists. Uh, but uh, after the Russian invasion, which started on 24th of February, all uh, our problems uh, became even more serious because the first uh, objective is it is to survive. It is to survive in the city which is bombed and shelled. I live in uh, Kiev. It is capital of Ukraine and it is more um, silent than uh, and calm than other cities. Uh, but uh, even here we observe the rocket strikes. Uh, for example, a few days ago, some objects in uh, Kiev were uh, attacked and the people died in their living rooms. Uh, because uh, Russians, uh, they know no mercy and uh, they will not stop to attack Ukraine until they uh, reach their uh, aims. And their main aim, it is to make Ukraine absolutely dependent country from the Russia. They understand that Ukraine is more democratic country than Russia because it is free in our country to organize any assemblies and to say, what do you want? Because we can protect our rights in different ways, on the streets, on the workplaces, on the courts. And it is unimaginable for Putin that the neighboring country uh, can uh, reach uh, prosperity or development and uh, be in a democratic country. It is uh, something unacceptable uh, for him. And of course, Russian uh, elite uh, recognizes Ukraine as uh, dependent country, they deny our sovereignty because they think that Russia, it is something like a power over Ukraine. And they 
think that uh, Ukraine should obey to Moscow uh, regime as it was uh, hundreds uh, years ago. No, we are independent state. Uh, and uh, we, as the people of Ukraine, want to make uh, our country better. Uh, but we can uh, make it better only through the struggle, social struggle, uh, especially uh, against uh, oligarchization of our policy for the better social st st standards, for um, fair distribution of uh, wealth. Uh, but uh, of course, uh, it is uh, much more differ difficult to make when uh, our country is uh, under attack. But uh, by the way, now we are involved in protecting of freedom of our country and protecting its right to self-determination. But even in that time, we make a clear statement that uh, we need more radical social uh, transformations. And we claim ourselves as uh, democratic uh, socialists. Uh, so we think that even those uh, circumstances, they cannot uh, stop the social struggle in uh, Ukraine and uh, it cannot uh, deny the right uh, to demand more um, fair political system. Uh, so uh, now we are fighting against Russian imperialism and against uh, uh, greedy Ukrainian oligarchs, which uh, using neoliberal uh, policies to uh, reach uh, their um, personal aims. Okay. Now, uh, Ukraine is uh, fighting against uh, openly militant and aggressive Russian imperialism. But uh, we should uh, bear in mind that we also need to fight against the dependence from the Western or neoliberal imperialism. Uh, and uh, Ukraine uh, cannot uh, impose uh, totally uh, free uh, policy until it is uh, uh, under Russian attack and until it is uh, under the crucial debt which was imposed by the uh, neoliberal institutions. So we think that it uh, would be fair to cancel Ukrainian debt. Ukraine is one of the most overdebted countries in Europe. And the people who are living in Ukraine suffering just now because a lot of people from public sector, they do not feel protected because a lot of public workers uh, for example, in hospital, in cultural institutions, in uh, state bodies, they uh, don't receive their wages because of the budget deficit. And it is uh, the result of over of our country. And uh, I am uh, shocked by the speech of our Minister of Finance, uh, Serhii Marchenko, who is uh, radical against cancellation of Ukrainian debt, because he thinks that it will uh, uh, preclude Ukraine from getting additional financial resources. I, I think that uh, we have uh, exceptional moral arguments uh, for demanding cancellation of Ukrainian debt, we, we don't think, we don't, we should not think about the interest and the profits of uh, international banks and the different financial institutions. Ukraine is not in a pos favorable, favorable uh, position. 
we need a lot of money to spend them on the defense and on the social programs. And the, we demand cancel Ukrainian debt now. It will help us to pay uh, for the job of uh, people from budget sector. It will uh, help to buy more medicine. It will help to uh, pay for flats for people who lost their homes. It will help to buy uh, some food for people who lost their jobs due to the bombardment from the Russian forces. And but uh, we know that neoliberal uh, state will uh, not follow those recommendations because uh, they are uh, totally uh, uh, dependent uh, from the um, IMF and other institutions. They act in such uh, sensitive issues like uh, agents of international uh, capitalists. And uh, in this situation, we should care about ordinary people if our state is uh, not uh, in compliance with its social obligations. So we need more humanitarian aid. And I want to say thank you for everyone from Italy, from Poland, from other countries uh, who helped us uh, and uh, provided uh, all necessary goods um, for refugees uh, who lost their jobs and uh, flats. Uh, this uh, help is uh, very important in uh, such, uh, in such uh, moment. And uh, thank you for help. Ukraine uh, needs uh, a lot of help because uh, this war uh, rages on and uh, our people uh, should be protected from the implications uh, caused by the Russian military aggression and by uh, crisis of Ukrainian neoliberalism.